I'm just not gonna do it again. Just focus on the damn battle. Ooh, God. Taking on units left and right. But I can do that too. If this hits hard enough. And it did. Finally. Hopefully with that, he'll be able to take more of the dispatched quests. Jobs. Why up there? Huh? Why you do that, Judge? Finally! God! <laughs> I think I'm gonna, now that I do have a fencer in my party, I'm gonna go just one more job more. Just one more. Uh, let's see. Did. I'm gonna change her job now to sniper. It's just the beefed up version of the archer. I don't have anything to give her just yet. For her, do I have anything? There we go. Good, good. I think that's about it that I can do for 
that right now. Shop? Nope. Well, I do need to come here, because I need another job. The village hunt. Let's try that. Okay. Good, good. Bought for everyone. The rock shield. And this. Pick up these item. And then we go back to our sniper. Give her her bow. Her hat just because I only have two of those, and if I do get another archer, if the big if I want to have that for her, for shoes, so she can move a little bit more. And then I need to go to the desert, yes, I'll save because it doesn't have a number of days, so I think it is a story related one. I hope it's not the one that I'm thinking of. It is. It, this is a story progression one. We have to do check of silence. We don't have anything to worry about for that. Our only white mage, our sniper. So you can see what she can do and how she is so called better. I do want to bring finally our first other Viera in our team. Right now, as a fencer, she doesn't have too much skills to really pray, show her praise. It's only when she gets farther down the line, but just learning one fencer skill, it opens up the path for her to be able to become a red mage or endementalist. I love red mage just because it's um, kind of a souped up version of the black mage. And the Final Fantasy Online, it's kind of different just because they're they're able to use black and white magic. But in here, they're just mo mostly heavily heavily focused on using black magic. They learn a super cool skill called Dual Cast, which allows you to cast two spells at once. So once you start learning all your fire skills, your thunder skills, your ice skills, you can pretty much cast fire and thunder at the same time. Or fire and ice, or whatever those two, and another skill. Two skill for, for one attack, basically. But the real question here is, who else do I want to take? I don't want to take the 
black mages just because for the most part they are a little bit weak but I should be sending them out on the dispatches as much as I can or do side battles sooner or later just because they do need to level up like quick at least the human does I don't really care about the muggle because if all he really learns as the only one that he can really change to is the time mage and time mage can be kind of nice just because of the whole idea that they can use skills like haste that make it faster to for you to get your own turn and slow so that it makes it so other units go slower and other skills but it's like I'm telling you, they're they're not very great in the long run. Let me check what the skill is. Movement. It's fall speed. So this is good for this one. Because we can slow this unit down. And no counter, so we kind of want to keep our distance for it. Beso toxic Toxico does damage and poison. Or well, some chance of being poisoned. And it took, so that, that's good. She's cool because uh, she gets a, a skill called Double Shot. And allows her to use two, basically do two attacks in one. Just regular attacks. Arrow attacks, basically. And we kind of find that useful because if we are at that point where we only have one unit left, we can easily take down a lot of other units quickly. But she also knows conceal and it makes it easier for her to like go invisible and get past the enemy and not be able to be attacked unless they do area damage and overall she is better as a sniper than she is as a um, archer. Archer doesn't really get that many skills that are useful. Oop, my controller's almost dead. Not good. I shouldn't be bringing him closer into the battle just because he is weak still. He is level 3 and I'm facing with a lot of several, 6 plus units in here in this fight. But I need him to get in there and do fights. That's what I was worrying about. Please survive this. No. <laughs> it's okay. It doesn't matter. They are still a ways away. So I shouldn't really be worrying if I do bring them back into the fight. That's a panther. It looks like a dog, but it's it's called a panther. Okay. I think I'm also gonna try to poison the other one.
hope this one doesn't have counter. Yeah, we're good. Very low damage, but... Again, trying to level other units. I think for the most part, here on out, I'm going to be leveling them with clan battles. The, the ones that you get from them exploring, having those like red units come out. Because I am getting a lot of the jobs now where they're requiring me to have level 7 units. And these guys constantly going down just with one look of the enemy is not a good thing. But then I also I think that I might try to grind off screen because I don't want to be constantly just trying to wait for more units to come in and try to fight me. And I'd rather just live this the live streams for us to see more of the store progression rather than me just trying to find random fights. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I might do this, uh, I might do a stream on Monday where I just, I'm not gonna really progress in the story, but I am gonna progress in terms of me leveling other units. And if you guys wanna come, and if you can come, um, at least you get to see me practicing with other units and leveling them up. But story wise, I won't touch it at all. It's just me, mostly me gonna be going around the map in circles trying to get more units to come out. Because they are really ass. See, that's, that's a big problem right there. Oh, not too bad. I mean, are they blind? Yes, one of them is. That's a problem. Well, it's not too bad because it's the other unit. Okay, good. Level up? Nope. I got worried there because I saw the judge come in right afterwards. It's like, what, what was the penalty there? This is the speed for this one. Down, unless he has that luck of just dodging like he has been. I don't think so. Okay, see, there you go. It's okay. We did take down a couple of them, so it's not too bad. But the real question is, do I keep on trying to bring it back up in hopes that they survive? Or just don't bother? I'm not going to bother because it is a low level thief and he's just been doing like 6 damage each time. It's just not worth it. Okay, let's see. I do need to get these anti-lions. Oh, this one doesn't have... Okay, I'm not going to follow up poisoning that one. This one does have counter, so I need to poison it. And I need to have the black mage take it down. Just because, again, it's one thing if I have uh, Johnny, the main unit, the level 7 unit, constantly fighting that one, then good. Because it's not going to really do too much damage. 
but no. That's good, a critical. I should give also to the white mage that I have right now in my team the ability to use to learn Yusuna. It removes debuffs on units. So that blindness that the Vera has right now, I can remove it if she, uh, if I get her him to learn. Well, it's because I think they ne they never really specific uh, specify with the Nomu if they're male or female. But yeah, um, that's the skill that I should teach it as well. It doesn't have to be right now, but it should be soon. Okay. Uh, let's see. So I should attack the, that one, the goblin, because he is, doesn't have counter. And I will leave the anti lion for the black mage, so he can level up, hopefully. But I doubt it. See, he's 54. Don't miss. And he missed. <laughs> God, he sucks as a black mage. Oh, you too. Oh, well, you're blind, so that's understandable. As of right now, I can easily remove the blindness by using eye drops. But that's, I, I just, usually for the most part, I, should I wait and see if he gets another chance to attack? Or, yeah, he will get another chance. So I'm gonna leave that for him. And I'm gonna use the eye drops on her. If I have some, nope. <laughs> not even be able to... Uh, he can go in and attack it since he sucks as a white uh, black mage. Just cure her, I guess, for the most part. Okay, cool. Listen here. You have only one chance. If you can't beat this Antelion here and now... Ah, you freaking suck! 
That was your one chance. And you missed it. He's dead. I'm just... I'm not gonna bother leveling him up in... Missions. Cause God, he's just... That's just terrible. He's for the most part been missing his... Normal attacks overall. And the one chance he does get to go in and do actual damage, he misses. <sighs> oh, combo him. Ah, oh, Jesus, you terrible, terrible man. <laughs> or woman. Black mage. That's that's nicer. You terrible black mage. Okay. Um I'm gonna call it here for today. Thank you so much for coming. I will be doing the, the what I said on Monday. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna do this stream a little bit earlier, but this will be again on Friday for sure next week. Just because uh, this Friday again, I'm gonna emphasize that we're gonna be doing our drunks born playthrough, where I'm gonna attempt to play through. Uh, Bloodborne and every time I fail I take a shot so if you like drinking and want to be a part of that please come on Friday this Friday we're gonna be doing that same time at 5 and it's gonna be probably my goal is to try to do a two-hour stream but again it is evolving me drinking and I don't want to push myself so bad that I end up going to the hospital. No one wants to hear that. Um, but um, yeah, for the most part, this is going to be... I'm going to play it again Monday, just so that I can do some grinding, just fighting these type of enemies on the, the, red, t the red type and get the other units that I have in my party that are level 4. Well, level 3, because god damn, look at him. He's level 3, I think. That's the lowest that I have, level 3. And get him to at least level 6. Or at least so I can get this dumbass <laughs> into another job because he's terrible as Black Mage. And, um, yeah. Uh, so let me give a, like, a rundown of what's gonna happen for this week. Uh, Friday. Bloodborne drinking game, please come if you like drinking and love Bloodborne. Um, Saturday, I am going to take a break because I know for a fact that I'm going to be dead trying to recover from my stupid mistake that I'm going to do for Friday. And then Sunday, my thoughts is that I am going to finish Coffee Talk. And then we're going to move into Valhalla. Not the same day, but we're going to at least finish Coffee Talk. And then for next week, our chill stream, it's going to be Valhalla. And then from there, Monday is going to be that test stream where I do just, uh, just some leveling for this game. And then Tuesday and Wednesday, we're going to go back to playing... And hopefully finishing soon um, Mega Man ZX and then Friday our continuation of this game for next week and then hopefully my schedule would go back to normal so that's what we're gonna be doing from then on uh, so yeah hopefully that's how it goes on and I guess I'll see you guys what's today god I already forgot <laughs> Wednesday 
yeah, Wednesday. So tomorrow I'm not going to stream. I'll see you Friday. Hopefully everything goes well. No losses or anything like that. Not too many losses. One or two, hopefully. Uh, but yeah. Uh, I'll also go into more details of how we're going to play that. How I'm going to play that game. But for now, just keep that in mind. You love drinking. You love that game. Come Friday. Please be there. See you guys there. Um, like and follow me on here because I need uh, more followers on here so if you're new and want to know when I'm going to be going live again you can do that or check my Twitter again I'll put it right here just for the sake of the last minute um, follow me there and I'll let you know what we're playing there early in the morning hopefully if I remember and um, you can see me when I go actually live there so yeah, please come on by next time and I'll see you then.